Good morning students welcome to our next lecture of artificial intelligence in our today's lecture we will discuss about tiles problem the unit we which we are discussing is the unit second and the name of this unit is game playing so in this unit we are discussing various types of various types of problems by discussing them as a game so we have discussed already two three problems that is minimax problem then water jug problem and today we are discussing tiles problem so let's see what is the tiles problem in this problem this problem is also known as the black and white sliding tiles problem in artificial intelligence that means for describing tiles problem we are calling it a black and white sliding tiles problem in artificial intelligence that means we are given a certain number of black tiles and the same number of white tiles and after that we have to arrange those black and white tiles in a proper manner that means similar one type of color on the left side and the other type of the color on the right side so we are given seven tiles three are black and three are white among these seven tiles we are having three as black and three as white and the one remaining is a white blank space in the middle so we are given seven tiles among those seven tiles three are black and three are white and the one is the blank space now we have to arrange those six tiles that means three black and three white tiles we have to arrange three black and three white tiles in such a way that on left side there should be either all the black tiles or all the white tiles and on the right also either all the black tiles or the all the white tiles with the help of the one blank tile which we are given so with the help of that blank tile we have to arrange the tiles in proper manner suppose that we have to arrange the black tiles on the left and all the white tiles on the right with the help of the one given blank tile now to arrange the tiles black and white tiles we are having two rules first rule states that analyze the state space of the problem that means we are given a certain state and space of the problem that means we are given a certain state in which we are having two different colors of tiles three are black and three are white so firstly we have to analyze the state space of the problem that means we will analyze the state the present state space of the problem after analyzing the present state space of the problem the second step is propose a heuristic for this problem after analyzing the state space of the given problem of the given black and white tiles problem we will propose a heuristic for this problem heuristic means certain set of rules so we will propose a heuristic or we can also say that a solution for this problem to move all the white tiles left to all the black tiles now in second step after analyzing the state space of the problem we will propose a heuristic or a solution for this problem and the solution will be that we have to place or move all the white tiles to the left of all the black tiles so this can be understood using this initial and goal state initial state in initial state our tiles are arranged in the order black and white that means on the left we are having all the black tiles and on the right we are having all the white tiles so the initial state of the tiles is on the left side we are having all the black tiles and on the on the right side we are having 
all the white tiles the position or the place of the white blank space is not necessary to be mentioned the blank space can occur at anywhere so we are not writing here the position of the blank space now the initial state was on left we are having all the black tiles and on right we are having all the white tiles and our goal state is that we have to propose a heuristic or a solution to come to this to reach this goal state and the goal state is all the white side all the white tiles on the left side and all the black tiles on the right side that means we have to move all the white tiles on the left side of all the black tiles with the help of the blank space or the blank tile now to fulfill this condition to reach the goal state we have made certain assumptions certain assumptions have been made to reach the goal state from the initial state so first assumption is that heuristics for black tile we will calculate the heuristics for black tile heuristics for black tile means tile distance to the first white tile to its right now the heuristic for the black tile will be the tile distance to the first white tile the tile distance of the black tile to the first white tile to its right will give us the heuristic for black tile similarly heuristic for white tile will be tile distance to the first black tile to its left and it is denoted by star minus 1 so we are denoting the heuristic for white tile by star minus 1 third assumption says that if any black tile does not contain any white tile to its left if there is no white tile to the left of the black tile then the tile will have zero heuristics similarly or we can say that vice versa of this assumption if any white tile does not contain any black tile to its right then that tile will also have the zero heuristic will have the zero heuristics that means if any blank if any black tile does not contain any white tile to its left then that tile will have zero heuristics if if the tile is found then that tile will will not have the zero heuristic it will have some value but if no tile contain any white tile to its left then that tile will have zero heuristics fourth assumption says that we will have a selector value initially set as white now for starting the game that means for starting the problem to reach the solution we are taking a selector value we are taking a selector value and for this problem that means black and white tiles problem we are initially setting the value of selector value as white so we will start our problem solution from the white tile so we are having a selector value from which we will start our solution and the last assumption says that if the tile jumps to the next tile the cost will be 1 if hop one more tile then cost will be 2 if jumps two tiles then cost will be 3 that means whenever we are taking whenever we are moving any tile from one place to another place the cost will always increment by 1 this assumption we will understand with an example so this was the theory of or we can say that the brief introduction about tiles problem now we will try to understand this tiles problem with an example the example we have taken is a eight puzzle problem eight puzzle problem means we have taken a puzzle in which there are eight tiles 
there are eight tiles given and one blank space is given so so this is the initial state in initial state we are having eight tiles and one blank space at the end of this box and we have to arrange all these tiles in alf in a proper sequence that means in increasing order starting with 1 till 8 and the final state we have to reach this state of the eight puzzle problem that means all the tiles arranged in proper sequence with the blank space at the end of the puzzle so this is the initial state and this is the final state we have to start from this state and reach this final state by using these four directions of moving the tiles always remember we are having only these four directions we can on move our tiles only in these four directions these four directions are down up left and right that means we can move the tiles downwards upwards left or right within the puzzle box not outside the puzzle box so only in only these four directions tiles can be moved so our initial state we have written here our initial state initial state we have taken row wise so row wise in first row we are having three tiles 1 2 3 then second row contains 4 8 5 and third row contains 7 6 0 0 denotes the blank tile now this is the initial state we will solve this eight puzzle problem by moving the blank space up down left or right so first step is apply up we are applying up condition that means we are moving the blank space upwards and 5 will come tile number 5 will come downwards and our condition will become row wise first row 1 2 3 then second row contains 4 8 0 that means blank space will shift towards the second row and then 7 6 5 after that we will apply left condition on the blank space all these directions are applied on the blank space so that we reach the final state after that applying left will give us the value 1 2 3 uh, as in first row then 4 8 5 in second row and 7 0 6 in third row after that we will apply again up condition up condition will give us the values in first row 1 2 3 then in second row 4 0 5 and in third row 7 8 6 after that applying right direction on the blank space will give us the values of first row 1 2 3 then 4 5 0 as in second row and 7 8 6 in third row after that we will apply down direction on the blank tile and by applying down direction our first row will contain the tiles 1 2 3 then second row will contain tiles 4 5 and 6 and third row will contain the tiles 7 8 and 0 and this fifth step is giving us the desired goal state that means all the tiles have been arranged in proper sequence and the blank tile has also been arranged on the last column of the row and column so in this way we reach to the final state of our eight puzzle problem and since we have applied four steps to solve this eight puzzle problem so the cost the path cost which will be counted which will be calculated will be 5 because in five steps we reached our final state so in this way we can solve tiles problem in artificial intelligence i hope you all have understood thank you very much